Hello, hello, another scrapbooks spread for you today. Now, before I get started on talking about what I'm doing and everything, I just need to give you a little disclaimer that the pictures I am scrapping are of real human skulls, real and other skeletal bits. So yeah, if that's gonna freak anybody out, then that's fine. But just so you know, if it is gonna freak you out, then you'd best off your pop but yes i just thought it'd be best to let you know if it doesn't freak you out then let's carry on so yes um i'll talk about the photos in a minute but what i want did want to say is how because of the skulls and everything like that i wanted to do a more of an old-fashioned layout rather than modern scrapbooking with all its mixed media and bright colors and paper stitching and all that kind of thing which is good don't get me wrong but i wanted to go old-fashioned so i got this 1212 paper which is from a santora gorgeous paper pad and I just went over it with some acrylic that was mixed with a little bit of yellow to make it a bit of a creamy colour. Um, just kind of dabbed it on with a sponge and a brush and just toned down the, the, the dark red and the blacky kind of thing going on. Just because I wish I had watered down the acrylic a bit more, but never mind. So there's the photos. There they are. And I'm just backing them on some random... 6-6 six, six papers from one of those paper pads that are like from the range of the works or what have you and yeah so yes the photos skulls as you can see there's a church in the town town one one town over from me and it's called St Leonard's Church in Hythe in Kent FYI and they are one of only two places in the whole of the UK with, uh, and let me see if I can get this right, an ossuary, ossuary, or is that a bird? I don't know. A crypt with lots of skulls and bones in. There is something like 2,000 human skulls and 6,000 human thigh bones. And yeah, it's just a really cool place. And if you're ever in Hythe, I highly recommend it because it's really, really interesting. And it's just sort of run by the church it's just a lady who gives you a little talk they only charge a pound or two for entry and yes now some people might have issue um about taking pictures of human remains and that's kind of cool that's a thing but and i wouldn't usually do it but the lady who was there kind of actively encouraged taking pictures because i'm not really sure why i didn't actually ask but because she was like i think i had my phone in my hand and she was like you know please take pictures we really encourage that kind of thing I'm like all right then so I did, as you can see, and I thought to scrapbook them. So, yes, if you're ever in Kent, pop down to Hythe just for half an hour or go, half, blah, 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 half an hour or so, and go check out the crypt at St. Lana's Church because it's a pretty, pretty cool. Um, I have an information booklet somewhere that I bought, and I could tell you all about it, but I think you're probably more interested in the scrapping right now. So, let's talk about that. So, those, as you see, I backed the photos just with something random. I'm not using a collection or anything for this one, so just finding random bits from a stash to use. So those ephemera pieces there are not, you may have seen them before in some of my videos, they're from AliExpress and they're sold as bookmarks and they are great for die cuts, ephemera kind of things, die cut cardstock, whatever you want to call it. So yes, I have bajillions of these things by now and I have two packs that have these sort of very, very muted colors and they're kind of autumnal and all of that kind of thing so i decided to use those as i thought they would go quite well with the pictures themselves and yeah i did some pr fiddling around with layering over the two photos and stuff i decided to embellish mostly around the picture of the two skulls rather than the one of my face just just because i didn't want to do it over both photos i wanted one to be heavily embellished and the other one to be more floaty I don't know if that made sense but yes that cardstock sticker sheet you can see cropping up occasionally there is from Kaisercraft Kaisercraft don't know and I forget the name of the collection it's from I got it in a haul not that long ago I will try and link it if I remember I did actually buy that sheet with these photos in mind so yes use the that floral border one down the bottom there to sort of do a bottom frame for for the bottom photo and then just carried on sticking those 
sticking those long florally things. I was going to put the bordery thing, another border one up there, and then I decided against that. I don't know why. And then there's that big, big cluster of flowers from that same cardstock sticker sheet. Cardstock sticker sheet. It's really hard to say sometimes. I'm tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then stuck that down the bottom right there. And that's when I decided I, what I would do is have this sort of heavy bottom right and then sort of trailing off up the side so getting thinner and thinner and thinner up the two pictures kind of thing the other ephemera pack i'm using that it's from the, the works and i can't remember what it's called like vintage die cut ephemera or um, something like that i think they still do it i don't know but yeah the thing with like the butterflies and those keys and stuff that's where the, they are from handy little pack to have for occasions like this when you are not using a collection so yes just yeah, spent quite a while figuring out where I was putting things on this sort of cluster of embellishments going up the side and all that kind of thing. Those bits that were sticking up, I just put little glue dots down. Glue dot, glue, glue, pfft, glue dots. Blah. Oh, goodness, I should not record voiceovers late at night. It's a bad idea, Grace. Never mind. Oh, look, a title. So. Uh, title started off being just 2000 and I uh, cannot remember where those alphas are from. No, I will try and write in the description box what they are if I remember. But I put that little comma on the 2000, you know, in the slightly more old fashioned way of writing numbers because it's an old fashioned -y kind of thing, both in scrapbooking style and with the skulls and all those sort of dark muted colours and all that kind of thing. So that was the sort of aesthetic I was going for. Those butterflies I'm putting down right now are from Poundland, little ha very, very handy little things to have. I mostly only use them in card making, but on occasions like this, they can become, become helpful in scrapbooking as well. And because they were a red and dark pink, they went quite well, I think, with that. Oh, don't put that there, Grace. It looks awful. Oh, quickly, quickly make it. Oh, it's better. That did look bad, didn't it? Blech. Anywho. Um, just writing there, the crypt at St. Leonard's Church. I don't often write on my scrapbook spreads, so yeah. And I did it in a brown pen. Not often that much use for a brown pen, but you know, there we go. Then using those Santoro sticker sheets, they've got some very pretty little bits on, and because they're Santoro, they have that same sort of muted old fashioned -y colours things, and some of those florals and the little dragonfly stickers have got, um, glitter on so just a little bit of shimmer and then those alphas there are from hobbycraft where i'm just beginning to write skulls there they're slightly puffy stickers and i have i bought them ages ago and i'm pretty sure that's the first time i'm using them so whoops but they have that old-fashioned d slightly gothic -y writing going on so they worked pretty well as well so yes there we go there is my old-fashioned d layout with the skulls and yeah I can't think of anything else to say, but need to fill it up because there's more, more video. Okay, now, now I'm going. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!